Hey everybody, welcome to another Goodie Reader comparison video. My name is Michael. This is Peter. Today we're going to check out the iPhone 5 versus the BlackBerry Q10. Both of these phones represent pretty well the latest generation in terms of business and productivity. It's funny because the iPhone used to just be a consumer device, but it's quickly become a device for business professionals. BlackBerry has always positioned themselves to catering to corporate services and also business professionals as well. You primarily notice this because of the full QWERTY keyboard. BlackBerry continues to be one of the only companies to produce phone after phone with a full keyboard, making it very easy to do a lot of text messaging and a lot of emails. As you see from the specs between these two phones, there are a lot of similarities. The thing that strikes me is the resolution. The iPhone 5 has 1136 by 640, while the Q10 only has 720 by 720. So in effect, it is a square screen versus a screen that's more of a rectangle. The other specs basically just speak for themselves. So we're going to look at a few things here. We're going to look at Amazon Kindle, which is uh, the e-reading app from, uh, well, it's called Kindle, but it's Amazon's e-reading app. We're also going to look at comic book, and then we're going to check out the audiovisual experience with Netflix. So we're going to start with Kindle, and we're going to load up the same book here called The World Set Free. So you can see that the screen colors are a little bit different. Obviously, they're running different uh, technologies. Also, the screen size takes a massive toll on the BlackBerry Q10 because most of the device is keyboard. But you do get the same kind of text changes and all that. So we'll just briefly touch on those. You get text up, text down. Everything changes really nicely on the iPhone get the nice little animations you see the fades everything changes live on the blackberry as well you also get brightness sepia black white or sepia depending on which way you want to say it uh, you do get a little bit more options here like line spacing we don't have line spacing on the uh, q10 at all the Q10 is actually running an emulated version of Android because the BlackBerry 10 has an Android emulator. A lot of the apps that we're showing you actually aren't available on BlackBerry App World, so you'll have to sideload the apps. If you want to learn how to sideload apps, check out our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash goodiebeater or check out our actual BlackBerry 10 app store at apps.goodiebeater.com uh, for the full skinny. You can make different colored highlights on the uh, iOS version. You can also make notes. You can see the keyboard side by side as well. And that's pretty much the experience uh, for reading books. I mean, neither of these two devices should be your first choice to read books on, but if you had to do so, they both handle them as well as they can. The one thing I w finally want to mention about the Kindle app is because this is the Android version, you can actually purchase books on your BlackBerry Q10. With the iPhone, you can't actually purchase books via Amazon. You actually have to go to the physical website, log into it, buy books, and then have the books synced directly to your device. So that's fairly important, so it, it bears mentioning. Right. Next, we're going to look at Comixology, and we're going to look at a Street Fighter comic. And you can see that this is full screened in portrait mode. And you can see that because the screen is basically one to one aspect ratio, which means it is square, you get these big borders on either side. We'll get to a page with uh, some full screen color here. So you can see the differences in the screens. Transitions are both really smooth on these, so um, there's more than enough processor speed and RAM to really handle this properly. They both pinch and zoom rather well. The BlackBerry Q10 is a little slower on the um, maneuvering, only because it's a side-loaded app, whereas this is actually from uh, the uh, Apple Store. Yeah, so it's a native app. But they both handle the comics very well. 
double tap to zoom in or you can pinch and zoom and you both have things like browse pages something you don't have in real comic books which is awesome because it's almost like looking through a visual thumbnail table of contents so that's pretty much the comic book experience on both these devices I think it's time to check out the video experience to see what the big difference is between audio and video. So we're going to load up Netflix on both here. Once again, this is a side-loaded Android app, so if you keep it open in the background, it is going to want to refresh on you. As you see from the specs between these two phones, there are a lot of similarities. The thing that strikes me is the resolution. The iPhone 5 has 1136 by 640 while the Q10 only has 720 by 720 so in effect it is a square screen versus a screen that's more of a rectangle. The other specs basically just speak for themselves. So we're going to look at a few things here. We're going to look at Amazon Kindle which is uh, the e-reading app from, uh, well, it's called Kindle, but it's Amazon's e-reading app. We're also going to look at comic book, and then we're going to check out the audio-visual experience with Netflix. So we're going to start with Kindle, and we're going to load up the same book here called The World Set Free. So you can see that the screen colors are a little bit different. Obviously, they're running different uh, technologies. Also, the screen size takes a massive toll on the BlackBerry Q10 because most of the device is keyboard. But you do get the same kind of text changes and all that. So we'll just briefly touch on those. You get text up, text down. Everything changes really nicely on the iPhone. You get the nice little animations. You see the fades. Everything changes live on the BlackBerry as well. You also get brightness, sepia, black, white, or sepia, depending on which way you want to say it. Uh, you do get a little bit more options here, like line spacing. We don't have line spacing on the uh, Q10 at all. The Q10 is actually running an emulated version of Android because the BlackBerry 10 has an Android emulator. A lot of the apps that we're showing you actually aren't available on BlackBerry App World, so you'll have to sideload the apps. If you want to learn how to sideload apps, check out our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash goodybeater or check out our actual BlackBerry 10 app store at apps.goodybeater.com uh, for the full skinny. You can make different colored highlights on the uh, iOS version. You can also make notes. You can see the keyboard side by side as well. And that's pretty much the experience uh, for reading books. I mean, neither of these two devices should be your first choice to read books on, but if you had to do so, they both handle them as well as they can. The one thing I w finally want to mention about the Kindle app is because this is the Android version, you can actually purchase books on your BlackBerry Q10. With the iPhone, you can't actually purchase books via Amazon. You actually have to go to the physical website, log into it, buy books, and then have the books synced directly to your device. So that's fairly important. So it, it bears mentioning. Right. Next, we're going to look at Comixology, and we're going to look at a Street Fighter comic. And you can see that this is full screened in portrait mode. And you can see that because the screen is basically one to one aspect ratio, which means it is square, you get these big borders on either side. We'll get to a page with uh, some full screen color here. So you can see the differences in the screens. Transitions are both really smooth on these, so um, there's more than enough processor speed and RAM to really handle this properly. They both pinch and zoom rather well. The BlackBerry Q10 is a little slower on the um, maneuvering, only because it's a side-loaded app, whereas this is actually from uh, the uh, Apple Store. Yeah, so it's a native app. But they both handle the comics very well. Double tap to zoom in, 
or you can pinch and zoom. And you both have things like browse pages, something you don't have in real comic books, which is awesome because it's almost like looking through a visual thumbnail table of contents. So that's pretty much the comic book experience on both these devices. I think it's time to check out the video experience to see what the big difference is between audio and video. So we're going to load up Netflix on both here. Once again, this is a side-loaded Android app, so if you keep it open in the background, it is going to want to refresh on you. basically just showed you My Little Pony because it's got a lot of color, it's got a lot of movement, it's got, a, you know, little sing-alongs happening there. I give you good, guys a good experience on what both of these bring to the table. Um, sound quality-wise, the Q10 kind of gets trumped by the uh, stereo speakers on the uh, iPhone 5, plus the screen size is definitely different as well. You can see that this is locked to the one mode, whereas uh, when you turn on Netflix on the iPhone, it automatically goes to landscape mode. So it's something you can't actually change. Even if you change the orientation and all that, it won't, uh, it won't change. Last thing before we wrap up here is showing you guys the App Store and the BlackBerry World. So this will be BlackBerry's take on their main ecosystem, and this will be uh, Apple's as well. Yeah, you can see that they're totally laid out completely differently. Uh, Apple has their own way of doing things. BlackBerry has their own way of doing things. Uh, with Apple, they have the App Store and iTunes, whereas BlackBerry has uh, amalgamated all of their apps, but also video and audio within their singular App Store. So you're not going to multiple places. You're doing everything within, you know, uh, the, the entire app. So you can see here that you have the scrolling carousel, a lot of different apps. Everything's pretty well carousel-esque. Uh, with the BlackBerry App Store, it's a little bit different. You're pretty well just like moving things up and down. But you, if, you, if you click on a sp specific category, you can kind of like refine your searches like a little bit more. Uh, BlackBerry App Store is a mix of native apps written for the BlackBerry platform, but also emulated apps where they're based on the Android application converted to BlackBerry. There's really no way to filter that out, whereas with Apple, everything was natively written for the iPhone, a platform that you would see in the App Store here, so you're knowing what you're getting. The big differences between these two is that the Apple apps are a little bit more refined because they're all written for the iPhone in mind you're never gonna have any problems with things lagging or uh, kind of crappy app quality but you will encounter that from time to time with the Blackberry ecosystem when it comes to email texting being productive it's really hard to beat the Blackberry Q10 the physical keyboard makes typing, replying, and if you write a lot of emails and text messages a day, you're really going to want to go with that phone. What we really wanted to show you in this comparison video is anything, most of the apps that the iPhone can run, the BlackBerry could also run as well. They run in a bit different ways because of this, the square screen and a bit of the lower resolution, but it really makes up for it with its productivity, BlackBerry balance. Um, the one really thing that I like about BlackBerry 10 in general is the ability to be able to delete all emails with one button. With the iPhone, you actually have to delete each email one by one. There's really no bulk delete function, which if you get a lot of emails like I do, I sometimes get between 100 and 200 emails a day. With the iPhone, I'm going to have to delete every single one manually. With BlackBerry, I just click it, delete all prior, it's all done. Peter, your final thoughts. I like both of these devices. Um, they're actually both pretty highly priced as well. So, uh, you know, six, seven, ninety nine, six, seven, ninety nine, depending on your market. Uh, I've always liked Apple for the way that 
even though their specs aren't the highest, he has only got one gig of RAM, it's running dual core compared to most Android quad cores. Everything always works and everything works well. It's always really smooth. And I mean, everything that was made for this phone under the App Store, iTunes, it was made for this phone. It was made for iOS. So it's going to work and it's going to work flawlessly. And the build quality of Apple has always been really good. BlackBerry, on the other hand, not so much with the whole multimedia experience. Not too many apps on BlackBerry World, but for businesses, typing, BBM, emails, WhatsApps, phone calls, can't be beat. It's the phone for that. It's got a physical keyboard. It, you can put an on-screen keyboard if you want as well during certain applications. I mean, this is made for businesses and this is made for communication. So you're faced with a multimedia all-in-one device versus a communication uh, bias device. Both of them bring equally great amount of features to the table. I think, you know, obviously we're not trying to find a winner here, but we're just showing you what it's like to view comic books and ebooks and all that kind of stuff on either of these two devices because we know there are BlackBerry lovers and there's iPhone lovers. So this is what this video is all about. You heard our thoughts. Let's hear yours. Drop a comment on this YouTube video. If you're watching a video uh, on another source, visit our uh, YouTube channel, youtube.com slash goody reader. If you have any ideas for future videos, please let us know. And for comparison of the iPhone 5 versus the BlackBerry Q10, my name is Michael. This is Peter. Everybody take care.